Hello friends, hello, hello, welcome to my channel, my name is Anna, I am a teacher of Russian language and travel expert in Russia. You ask me about uh, life in hostel, about students life, so today I want to show you how students from uh, other countries live uh, in Moscow in our days. If you are interested to know more about it, please continue with this video. My friends, I'm Mohammed Awatabai from Iran, the, uh, and I'm staying this, uh, in the hostel. This is a very good hostel in Moscow, but uh, it has a good and bad uh, situation and conditions here. Uh, we will show you what happening here. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's go. So now, now, guys, we are going to hostel. It's located in our, uh, near visit center of Moscow. So let's go inside and we will show you how it looks. Also, we can say about prices and we will see real, real life. Let's go. Oops. Mm -hmm. Так, so we are inside. So, Mohammed, please uh, tell um, a bit about this place. Tell something. Why do you choose this place? Uh, this uh, place is a lobby of the netizen hostel and uh, people are staying here uh, for uh, resting, for eating and drinking. Uh, one special uh, thing that uh, is not allowed uh, here, uh, using alcohol and drinks here. And uh, you can uh, stay here with uh, peace uh, and always uh, calm uh, here. and. Um, you know, uh, this is a very good place for a staying for a student. But some uh, uh, problems here, you cannot cook here because uh, they have not kitchen. And you should uh, buy something uh, uh, like uh, electronic heaters uh, uh, for uh, cooking. But at all, it's very good place for a staying. Uh, prices are uh, good uh, and and I remember you wanted to buy some special uh, for cooking. Did you buy it? Yes, this, uh, uh, plita. <laughs> uh, my teacher Anna told me you can uh, buy an uh, electronic he heater for cooking and I buy it. And when I uh, buy that uh, heater uh, my, uh, uh, for, uh, mm, for using uh, food and uh, cooking, uh, I'm very comfortable with that. Uh, so guys, this is a um, reception. You can see it's writing hello in different kind of languages. Oh, I know it's Hindi, yeah? Chinese. Ah, is it something in Iranian or oh, Arabic? No, no. So guys, this is cafe and you can see here it's a place for studying, right? Yeah, so, mm, so it's very good, for example, if your class uh, mates are sleeping, so you can go here and uh, work here. Well, so very good. You can see very comfortable. You can see students studying. So very comfortable. Oh, you can uh, have rest, right? Good. Mohammed, are you studying here? No? Yes, always that's my place. Uh, Where is your place? Yes. Ah, always, this? Yes. Me and my friend always sitting here and using uh, our laptops for uh, doing works mm -hmm. and doing our homeworks in Russian language. Ah, yes. homework, yes. domashnya. And, and eating, da? And sometimes eating. Hello. Eating <laughs> So you can see nowadays, uh, uh, have you feel something change in your life nowadays? Yes, uh, when I was uh, uh, come to Moscow from Iran, so many things are changed for me and uh, this is a very big experience for me. And uh, I learned many things, uh, I learned many things from Anna when I uh, see her after I'm coming here. Uh, she told me many things, many tips for uh, living in Moscow. And and this house has a good board. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to, uh, to the room, da? Yes, ah, uh, toilet yes, here? Yes, yes uh, there are toilets, uh, or uh, clean toilets, it's beautiful toilets. Oh, so let's see. Toilet. Very good design. Oh. oh. You look great or oh, very positive. So guys, you can see very good toilet. Oh, with the positive coats. 
Mm -hmm. um, I know this uh, kind of brand, Milti, so the, you can uh, buy uh, already cooked food. Yeah? Yes, so, yes. And uh, if you have microwave oven, you can uh, just uh, uh, do it warm. And this one very comfortable. Uh, so if you want some uh, drinks, water, uh, chips, something. 50, right? Yes. Uh, so some documents or maybe uh, yes, if you're rich, you, you can uh, diamonds, uh, diamonds, gold. <laughs> yes, yes, you can sit here. It's uh, the, this Yes. Oi. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can I sleep here? <laughs> yes, right. People. Oh, people sleep here. Very nice. Oh, I want this kind of thing at my home. And interesting. How many kilograms? It can be one. Maximum. One hundred, two hundred? Maybe, yes. Maybe. So, so I can don't follow diet, okay? <laughs> have not, uh, this key you cannot Come enter. Inside. Enter that. Yes. And what happens if you lose it? You, if you lose that key or forgot it uh, in uh, your room, you can ask reception for another key. Mm, they okay. give you. Okay, yes. good. Mm -hmm. uh, both of the lifts and the stairs always uh, open. Maybe sometimes the lift is not working, so you using the stairs. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. And how much uh, you pay for this? Now uh, we pay uh, about uh, 250 rubles for uh, every time, each time you want to use in laundry. Ah, for laundry. Yes, for laundry. And for uh, rooms, uh, about, I think, for six bedrooms, now it's uh, 900 rubles. 900 rubles. For mm. each day. Nice, no, nice price. Very nice. So we're... Yes, for, this is for uh, females. And ah, so you can go here and close it. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, you can see, very comfortable shower. Very nice. Oh, I have the same in my home. It's uh, from uh, Ikea. Ikea. I have the same. Yeah, very comfortable. Ah, toilet again. Toilet. And, and uh, always uh, the toilets are clean. That's clean always. Da, guys, always. you can see very clean. You never see any dirt and uh, mm -hmm. uh, unclean uh, things in the toilets. Oh, fear and it's for girls. Da. Okay. And uh, this is uh, right reception. This is, uh, yes, this is a guide for uh, any place of this hostel, and this is the map of hostel. Mm -hmm. you can see the evacuation plan. You never uh, lose the way. <laughs> Six bedroom. Oh, very warm here. Yeah. So uh, here uh, you can choose the rooms. Uh, so girls and men separate. Yes, and it has a mixed room uh, in this hostel, but uh, most of the rooms are separated, mm -hmm. uh, men's and women's. This is a men's room. You put your things here, and uh, <coughs> everything is uh, good mm -hmm. here. Very comfortable. So this room for six people, da? Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, here, what is this? And uh, this is the window. You ah, can oh. things here. Very nice. So you can leave something there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice view. Yes. Very comfortable. And uh, oh, there's a beautiful church here. Church, uh -huh. R Russian church. Orthodox. So as you can see, very nice. So, and uh, Mohammed said uh, that you were living here, da, and you decided to change that. So now you, we will see you in your room. Yes, uh -huh. we can uh, go my uh, room in uh, downstairs. Uh -huh, the okay, floor. okay. Yeah, let, it's uh, in the second floor. Okay. And, uh, Let's go. Uh, are you go to university now? Right? You study offline, not online, yes, Russian language. Now I'm studying offline in Sinai University, mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> this is a, a good uh, condition, good situation. And uh, but uh, our teacher uh, was changed when we had no. Anna. <laughs> you so you miss Anna. <laughs> yes, I miss Anna. <laughs> 
So, and can you, what you can say for students uh, which is going now to Russia, so you, what do you think, is it safety, um, what you can say? Uh, uh, Moscow in uh, peace and I never see bad in Moscow mm -hmm. for three months I'm here. And uh, you know, this is a beautiful place, you, uh, everything that you want you can find in Moscow, everything. I'm using uh, daily mobile like that. Uh, I have a car, and uh, mm -hmm. so, I can, yeah. so here you just need uh, you just need the driving license, right? Just, yes, you need the driving license, and uh, you can uh, translate it in your country. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will show you my driving li uh, license that translated in Iran. Mm -hmm. That's how you can see, guys. Uh, you just need uh, driving license, and you can take daily mobile, and you don't need a taxi, and uh, you can uh, use a car that are very comfortable. Yes, and Mohammed told that also nowadays situation, uh, his life didn't change. He, you can see, he's very happy. <laughs> yes, always happy in Moscow. I love the Moscow city. The only uh, one thing that some prices uh, increased uh, nowadays, like for example, uh, the phone which I bought uh, a few weeks ago, I bought it for sixty thousand rubles. Uh, now it cost. Uh, uh, 100. So just uh, it increased prices for some um, electronics. Other things don't change. Yeah? Yes, other other things didn't change. I never see uh, for about foods. Uh, the prices is a constant, a consonant, and uh, the everything is good. Toma, come out, show us, please, your uh, room. This, mm -hmm. is, uh, this is my uh, bed and. Uh, you know. And this is your neighbor? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> he speaks Russian or uh, English? You're Russian, yes? Yes. Yes, he's Russian. And this is my stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what? This is that... Uh, ah, that for the... Cooking. Da, 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 I, I recommended Mohammed to buy it because that in this hotel, uh, hotel, hostel, they don't have kitchen. And uh, but you told me that you have microwave oven, da? Yes, just microwave. Oh. Yeah. And also, you can. Uh, how much it cost? It's about uh, two thousand rubles. Two thousand rubles. So uh, and so you can buy it uh, and cook. Yeah. So when you cook in this room or no no I'm, uh, we're going to cafe, uh, cafe yeah, ah cool. so it's no problem that you can cook yeah, no, no, that, so guys you can see you can buy it just for thousand uh, uh, rubles and uh, cook. Uh, everything what you want here and uh, uh, and also i recommended mohammed some salads like did you try to cook uh salad uh, do you remember mozzarella, mozzarella italian yeah yeah i didn't uh, try that but i uh, want to buy, buy something from uh, supermarket to uh, create that food because that was in picture is very delicious i sh uh, should uh, create uh, create by myself and eating i know it's very delicious now so i uh, uh, recommend it to mohammed for first days uh, to cook some um, salads which you can uh, do without uh, any uh, microwave oven the, the yes and uh, you can use the microwave and it's i don't know what to call in english uh, they have a machine for eggs Ah, machine boiling, for boiling uh, eggs. Boiling, but yes. you can boil eggs with this one? You can just take yes, uh, kasturula pan? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. Ah, here they have for eggs. Yes. Mohammed, where are we are going? This is the underground of hostel. Uh, bathrooms and toilets are here. And mm -hmm. uh, laundry is uh, here too. And you said it cost uh, 2,000? For, for this. This mm -hmm. uh, is a laundry machine and drying machine. Both of them uh, you can use. And uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, this is laundry and uh, this is the luggage room. I guess you can see laundry? Yes. Mm -hmm. One, two, two. Ah, 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 this ah is drying. for drying. Yes, yes. Oh, very good. Drying very machine, good. Uh, bathroom and toilets. Uh -huh. for male Again. And, uh, Again. Okay. Showers, sorry. Uh, was it so, how to say, uh, was it in some day that it will be crowded or if you need to take no, a shower, you no, can get something no, always free? Always free. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, be, I see crowding here. Mm -hmm. 
toga as you can see very comfortable so you can uh, take a shower in it in it um. yes i do have in this hostel some how uh, a special time when uh, i don't know some silent time so that you can uh, listen music that talking in, till uh, you know in uh, the rooms you can't uh, listen music with the speakers just mm -hmm. headphones ah headphones because uh, no uh, knowing other guests but in the lobby you can listen mm. to music you can watch movies in room you can, but with uh, just with headphones. Mm -hmm. And after ten o'clock, I think uh, you should not turn on the lights in room. Uh huh. Yeah. But yes. so, but not so special time that you must back uh, to the hotel no, till no. So you can. Uh, Twenty four hours you are free. Ah, you are free. Uh, yes. So just be silent. Uh, yes. That don't yes. Uh, listen music <laughs> in the night. Uh. Yes. And. Uh, you cannot use, uh, I said, alcohol and drinks, but you can buy, uh, I think, a beer. Mm -hmm. They have a coffee, just uh, you can buy them from the uh, hostel. Mm -hmm. You cannot bring uh, any alcohol or, or beer from outside into the hostel. Because I say Chamadan, because in Persian we say that word for Chamadan. Ah, yeah. you know, interesting that so in Russian language Chamadan, yes, yes, in like Persian. A, yes, like a, a word Samovar. In some Russian, of some of our in Persian is some of our. And English chamadan is luggage. Luggage, yes. Luggage. No, no. And uh, you can put. Your, I uh, don't have the key right now. Mm -hmm. But you can you uh, put your big chamadan here and the luggage your luggage here and uh, every time you need your uh, luggage you can uh, ask the reception for the key and use your stuffs here. Mm -hmm. So very good. Okay, so nice tour, yeah. <laughs> guide, two guides, Anna and Mohammed tour guides. <laughs> yeah. So what next? Are we finish? Yes, uh, we show to our audience every place in this hostel. There mm -hmm. is no any, hostel, any places here and that's all. Okay. Thank you, Mohammed, for tour. You're welcome for girls in Russian. <laughs> The, and, uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, Mohammed, what we can uh, say that to our uh, to my subscribers uh, about uh, um, this hostel? Do you recommend it? You know, you should uh, come here and uh, see by your eyes. Uh, this is a very comfortable uh, hostel, good prices, uh, and everything is okay except uh, you cannot cook in here, mm -hmm. and you can buy some heater for uh, that problem. And, and the price is uh, 900 rubles per day. Yes, for mm -hmm. six bedroom. For six bedroom, da. They if you pay more, you can uh, stay in a with yes, the less people. Yes, da. yes. And uh, they have a one peop one bed and two bed and four bed, six bed and I think uh, eight and forty uh, bed uh, in this hostel. Mm -hmm. You can choose. Uh, yeah, so it's very good that uh, people with every budget can find comfortable uh, yes. room. Yes, uh, you, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, uh, you see good people here, uh, you will not uh, see any bad uh, uh, people uh, coming here because uh, the management uh, and the reception uh, and security here always working 24 hours and uh, you know, uh, uh, a special thing about that hostel, you, uh, this is the near of the metro station. Mm -hmm. and everything just two minutes just by walking, two minutes, two minutes yes. by walking. So walking mm -hmm. and, uh, it's near of the uh, center of Moscow. Da, so it takes 10 minutes by metro yes, for reaching uh, Red Square. Yeah. And everything you want uh, for buying uh, is around the hostel shops uh, and mm -hmm. uh, everything you want uh, is here and you comf comfortable for mm -hmm. uh, buying uh, things that you need mm -hmm. so Mohammed, what you can say is it uh, no good for students uh, now go to russia to moscow and study russian language here in university is good time or what you recommend uh, yes uh, the students if uh, wants to uh, come to russia it's a very good uh, time I see Russian people are kind, are, uh, they are not racist, this is a very good, uh, I see in the Russian people, they are not racist. Mm -hmm. If uh, I want help and uh, they, all of them uh, help me 
and nobody insult me. So I love that city. I uh, say to myself, I choose a good city for studying uh, Russian language, and after that, I want to study dentistry in Moscow. Yes, Mohammed is going to be uh, a dentist. So he is studying now in a uh, Synergy University. His level is uh, A1, and he is going to pass exam for A2. Yes, yes. and after that he will uh, study in uh, Moscow in some uh, Russian city. And uh, after graduating university, he will be a doctor, yes. dentist, dentist. So, guys, you can see uh, that uh, Russia is not a racist country. All foreigners feel comfortable here. Russia allows. Of, uh, all nationalities, da. Also, uh, and also, you know, Mohammed, he is a Muslim. Have you visited some mosque here in the Moscow? I ask uh, some of my friends for mosque, and uh, they uh, give me the address, but I didn't come uh, because it's uh, too far from here. And uh, but I, one day I want to go uh, to that mosque. But I visit that church; it's very beautiful because it's near of the hostel. I was uh, going to uh, gallery in uh, I don't know what's the street. Uh, Tretikov gallery maybe yeah. with pictures. Yes, Tretikov gallery. Pictures. Not. That's a very nice place. I recommend it uh, to visit uh, that place. It's very good and uh, amazing uh, place in Moscow. I see uh, Red Square and the center of Moscow and uh, many places uh, that uh, all of them are beautiful. You know, the architecture in the Moscow is amazing. I love that architecture in uh, Moscow. So thank you, Mohammed, very much for okay. your uh, for your answers. So guys, you can see uh, foreign students happy in Moscow and uh, I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this hostel, you can uh, try it and of course compare with other hostels. So you can see also with uh, a budget, uh, with, if you don't uh, have a uh, high budget uh, for expensive uh, hotels, you can stay here and feel comfortable. So guys, all questions you can write please in comments. Maybe, maybe you can ask something about Mohammed and comments and uh, we will be happy to answer for next video so thank you for listening bye for now пока 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 from russia with love пока пока guys